Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tommy's Sheep and today I'm going to show you how to crochet hippo. This tutorial has two parts. This is part one where I'll show you how to crochet head and ears of hippo. And you can find how to make right and nice shape of face in other videos. And everything what you need to know for this project is in description of this video. For this project you'll need chenille yarn. I'm going to use Dolphin Baby from Himalaya brand and one ball of this yarn is enough for this project. You need stuffing yarn needle stitch marker, safety eye buttons, cotton yarn, scissors and 5mm crochet hook. Okay, make a slip knot and then chain 7 and we are making or we are starting from the nose part, the nose part of hippo. So chain 7 and when you will make uh, nostrils it's better when you will have smaller crochet hook. So about 3 millimeters crochet hook. Okay, now make two single crochets in the second chain. Then make just one single crochet in next four stitches or four chains. Now three single crochets in the last stitch. One, two, and three single crochets in the very last stitch. And now make one single crochet in next four stitches and I'm hiding the starting tail behind my work. And we will crochet in a round. So you should um, mark the start, but mark the beginning uh, of the round at the end of this round. And now make slip stitch in the first stitch okay we have done the first round now how I said you should mark the beginning and now we need to increase three stitches on both sides. So make two single crochets in the first two stitches then make just one single crochet to the other side And here you have to increase three stitches. So make two single crochets in next three stitches. Okay. Now make just one single crochet in next four stitches. And in very last stitch you have to increase because we need to uh, we need to increase three times on both sides. 
and we can start next round. In next round, we will increase again three times on both sides. So we are going to increase three times on both sides, but you need to have one single crochet between uh, between each increase. So now one single crochet. And now in next stitch two single crochets. In next stitch one single crochet. In the next stitch two single crochets. So we have increased uh, twice on the right side now and now make just one single crochet in each stitch to the other side where we have to increase three times again and between increase we need to have one single crochet in this round. So now increase and one single crochet. Increase again and one single crochet and last increase on the left side and then just make one single crochet in each stitch to the end. I said one single crochet to the end but uh, you need to increase in the last stitch of the round because we have increased on the right side just twice so in very last stitch of this round you have to make two single crochets. If you will have any questions write me here below the video and also I will make a written pattern for this project. Okay, in next round we have to increase again three times on both sides, but between increase you have to uh, you have to have <laughs> two single crochets. So I mean increase and now one single crochet in next two stitches. Increase and then just one single crochet in next two stitches. And increase again. Now make just one single crochet in next few stitches. So make one single crochet in each stitch to the other side. And there you have to increase three times again. So two single crochets somewhere here. And then you will make just one single crochet to the end of the round. Okay, next round we will increase again. So two single crochets in the first stage. And then make just one single crochet in next four stitches. I'm sorry, three stitches. <laughs> so now you have to increase again. So this is second increase on the right side and now make just one single crochet in next three stitches again. So in this round you have to increase three times on both sides and between increase you have to have three single crochets. Okay, one single crochet now in each stitch to the other side and on the other side increase three times again and then make one single crochet to the end. Okay. Now we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. Okay, I have done two rounds of single crochets and now we need to decrease sides and increase the upper part of nose. So uh, on the left and right side you need to decrease twice 
and I'm going to decrease um, invisible so if you want you can follow me and increase oh I'm sorry decrease <laughs> with invisible way so make two single crochets together then make one single crochet in next stitch and decrease again and now make one single crochet in each stitch to the upper part and find the middle of the upper part of nose because we need four uh, four stitches for increase so somewhere here you need to increase four times so make two single crochets in next four stitches Then one single crochet in next few uh, stitches you need to get to the left side where you have to decrease exactly the same as on the other side. Okay, so somewhere here you need to decrease twice. So make two single crochets together then one single crochet in next stitch and decrease again so make two single crochets together and then you will make just one single crochet in next stitches to the end of the round and then make one round of single crochets okay I have done one round of single crochets and now we have to decrease on both sides once so on the right side now make two single crochets together Then I'm going to make one single crochet in next two stitches and then we will increase the upper part of nose. So you need to count 16 stitches in the upper part of nose because we will increase eight times. It means you will increase eight times and between increase you have to have one single crochet. So count 16 stitches, so increase, then make just one single crochet, increase and one single crochet and you have to do it uh, eight times, you have to increase eight times in this part and you need to have one single crochet between increase and on the left side you will decrease again once exactly the same as on the other side okay I am at the end of the round and now make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around Okay, now we need to increase both sides, so make two single crochets in the first stitch and in the second stitch. So we have increased twice on the right side, then make just one single crochet in each stitch to the other side and there you have to increase twice again. Okay, I am at the end of the round. In, in, in previous round we have increased four times 
and now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make five rounds together. Okay, now we are going to decrease every fifth stitch. So decrease on the beginning, make two single crochets together, then make one single crochet in next four stitches. And continue working like this all the way around and then make one round of single crochets. Okay. Now in next round we are going to decrease again. So make two single crochets together on the beginning of the round. And then make one single crochet in next three stitches. So in this round you have to decrease every fourth stitch all the way around and then make again one round of single crochets. So it will be one round without change. Just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So after this round will be again one round of single crochets. Okay, <laughs> now decrease, uh, decrease on the beginning, then make one single crochet in next two stitches and decrease again. It means in this round you have to decrease every third stitch and decrease like this all the way around. Okay, now it's time for stuffing and you should place safety eye buttons wherever you want. And then make one round of single crochets. And we have nearly done the head of hippo. Now we have to close the hole. So now I'm going to decrease every second stitch in this round. and fill the head firmly and then you can close it then you can continue working two single crochets together every second stitch and in next round you will make two single crochets together by two single crochets together and I will always uh, uh, leave a few stitches at the end and finish it with uh, yarn needle. So it's up to if you will follow me or you will crochet to the end. Okay, now let's make uh, the ear of hippo. So start with magic ring, chain one, and then make five single crochets into the magic ring. And you need to count the the chain on the beginning as single crochet so together you will get six single crochets so now make five single crochets into the magic ring then tighten the magic ring and join the round with a slip stitch and make the slip stitch in the first stitch so this is the right stitch where you have to make a slip stitch and then I'm going to work in a round. So you should, you should mark the beginning and increase every stitch all the way around. And I'm hiding the starting tail behind my work because it's less work at the end. So it's up to you if you will follow me or if you will saw the tail inside the ear then it's up to you. So increase every stitch all the way around.
Okay, in next two rounds, you will make just one single crochet. So make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. So two rounds of single crochets. In the next round we have to decrease, so make two single crochets together, then make one single crochet in next four stitches and then you need to decrease also on the other side. So make, uh, make two single crochets together. And then make one single crochet in next four stitches. So make one single crochet to the end of the round. In this round you need to just decrease twice. Okay, and now make just one round of single crochet. So make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, and this is how it looks like. You will make uh, the second ear exactly the same. And now you need to join uh, both sides together like this. So use a yarn needle, make a few stitches, and then make one stitch like this and make right shape of the ear and then sew it to the head with invisible stitch okay this is how it looks like and now we need to make nostrils because it will look like hippo without nostrils it will look like half hippo <laughs> so make just uh, make just uh, slip stitches in a round and it's better when you will use small crochet hook for the making of nostrils so I'm using three millimeters crochet hook new end of the yarn and just I'm making uh, just uh, slip stitches in a round so it's not hard to make it work slowly be patient and make nice V circle just the very last stitch I will make with yarn needle I will show you after it's better because it will look better and we will join the round like this. So this is last slip stitch with crochet hook. And then I will cut the yarn and I will use yarn needle. So now just um, use yarn needle and you will make exactly the same way uh, also the second nostril and now insert your needle under the first stitch like this and then insert your needle into the middle of last stitch and then you can sew the tail inside the head and that's all i hope you will like it and see you very soon